is up you guys welcome back to a brand new vlog today we are up at cypress mountain and we're actually going to be snowshoeing which i'm very excited about i've only gone snowshoeing like once in my life and as you can see behind me it is very snowy up here so we actually ended up buying our tickets ahead of time so it was 36 dollars for the snowshoe rental and the snowshoeing pass and there's a whole bunch of trails i believe the trails start i see people wandering that way it honestly looks like a winter wonderland up here, so I'm excited to show you guys and take you along with me up a local mountain here in Vancouver. We are lucky enough to have so many local mountains. This was like a 35 minute drive from downtown, which is pretty amazing to have like so close to you. The one thing I love about Vancouver is that you can be literally at the beach in 10 minutes and up the mountain in 30. So you're so close to so many great things. But yeah, once we can travel again, if you guys aren't from Vancouver, you should definitely come and check out this side of town. Obviously there's Whistler, which is the most probably well-known place to come and do winter activities here. But there are a ton of, ton of mountains like this. There's Seymour, there's obviously Cypress, I'm blanking on the other ones. The Grouse Mountain, this Grouse, and yeah plenty of others so it's a great place to come and explore in the winter but anyways we're gonna get our things on it is like it's not too too busy up here it's actually a sunday but obviously everyone can still social distance and you have to wear masks when you're like renting any of the stuff so that makes me feel nice but yeah i'm really glad i brought a lot of waterproof clothing because the snow is quite wet <laughs> all right so here are our snowshoes so basically they just hook on to your shoes like this and then I have my boots on and then you head on to the trail. All right, got my snowshoes on, everything is good to go. I'm also here joined with my friend Amrita. <laughs> Lisa's back there somewhere. All right, you guys, feels weird. I also too regret not bringing my super puff because last time I went hiking, I got really hot. So I was kind of worried I would get hot, but now I'm like, I'm kind of worried I'm gonna be too cold, but you know. I always aim to bring the right gear and then I, I just, I miss the mark every time. So yeah, it is what it is, but it's nice to be out in the snow. This is lovely, very refreshing. trail there is two trails here we're doing the one kilometer trail up to the lodge and it's actually through the trees which is nice you can also do a trail that's like right up the hill which we're not we're not about so we're gonna follow these little posts and head through to the lodge it is so incredibly beautiful in here walking through the trees something kind of cool they have up here in cyprus is they have oh this is actually it okay so they have a night trail walk with all the lights and you can actually see the lights up there so this at night lights up and you can walk through and see the snow covered trees and it is like an actual winter paradise i know i called another vlog a winter wonderland but this right here this is actual winter wonderland also don't judge me i did bring an umbrella i was gonna leave it in the car and then i was like you know what we don't want to get wet so we're just gonna hike <laughs> with the umbrella but this is really cool All right, so we've made it up to like the little lodge area. So if you were doing the night one, just right over, right over there, you can stop there and go in and get like a hot chocolate. We actually are gonna continue on the trail. There's a little, it says a sign here, it's a snowshoe trail. No walkers, no hikers, no skiers, no dogs. So snowshoes only, feel very special. And we're gonna keep on this trail. I'm actually having such a good time though. Like I didn't know snowshoeing could be this like fun. <laughs> well, not that I didn't think it was fun, but it's like a good workout and you're obviously in the nature and what's nice is that you don't feel like you're gonna fall or slip obviously because you have the snowshoes because that's only like i mean i guess i only come up a mountain when i am snowboarding but i've definitely done a lot of snowy activities without snowshoes like when robin and i went hiking uh to the hot springs we did not have snowshoes and honestly the hike wasn't enjoyable because i felt like i was gonna fall every two seconds so when you actually have a good grip on your feet it's just yeah it's lovely going in <laughs> we picked up a homeless lady. <laughs> Lisa, look at what you look like right now. <laughs> She's an outdoors woman. <laughs> you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I find when you're out in the snow, you just like, 
It does not matter how you look as long as you're warm and not wet. Like that's so that's the key. So it's not. It's about how you feel. <laughs> also, to you guys, Lisa's wearing one of her Soul for the Seventies. I keep saying Soul for the Seventies. Soul. For <laughs> okay, what's under that? So her website's up now. You guys can shop it. She has so many good sweaters. All right, give her a bit of a show. <laughs> okay, got some tie dye action. Lots of different colors, and she has a bunch of ready made stuff on there, so you guys can shop. Wow. All right, we need to catch up with our friends. Okay, guys, so we made it up to the upper warming lodge, and there's no cafe or anything. It's just literally a lodge. I did expect maybe there'd be coffee. I think at the lower warming lodge, they do have like a little cafe, but it also might be closed just because of everything, because there is some like trails closed right now and stuff. But we did, however, have a little mishap. We did misplace our other two friends we're here with, and I think we zigged when we should have zagged. They were in front of us, and so we did lose them. I'm hoping that we will find them. We told them we were going to the upper warming lodge, and there's like no cell service up here, so it's been a little bit of an issue, but I keep having cell service come in and out. So yeah, let's just, fingers crossed, they'll find us, but it's really snowy up here. I honestly did not know what to wear before coming here. Definitely recommend just wearing stuff like you'd be going snowboarding, maybe a few more layers just in case you want to strip down. But if you're going to be coming all the way up to the top, I'd for sure dress, yeah, like you were going to be skiing or snowboarding. I kind of dressed like I'm more hiking and it's actually fine. The only thing is I do wish I had like a little hood, which I did forget, but you know, I'll know for next time. I'm going to go back in the warming lodge though because it is quite chilly up here. What are you doing? Oh, nice. Also, too, they call this a warming hat. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's not a warming hat. It's a cooling hat. <laughs> but I did bring um, some essentials. I brought some water and I also brought an orange. I would have brought more snacks. I thought there maybe be some snacks to buy, but it's going to be my, my things. I really hope we can find them. I think they'll come up. The thing is, we thought we looked on a map and it looked like the upper warming lodge was like past this, but then the guy said that this is actually the upper warming lodge, so. Anyways, we're away coming from the snow and that's, that's good. So it's getting a little steep here. There's a whole bunch of different trails you can go on. Some are steeper than others. This one is quite steep as you can see and it's snowing quite a bit. I am most certainly the only person on this trail with an umbrella, but someone told me I was smart and I was like, yes, I agree. <laughs> uh, obviously bringing a coat that had a hood. Probably be the smartest decision, but this is the second smartest, so I can cover my neck. It also looks like I don't have hair, but that's okay. We're almost down at the lower lodge, and then it's a bit further of a hike down to the car area. We've, I'd say it's take maybe like 30, 30 minutes-ish, 45 minutes to get to the top, the upper lodge, and then, yeah, down's obviously a little bit quicker, but the different trails, like I said, they have different like varying degrees of difficulty, so the one we went up was actually more flat compared to this one, which is a lot steeper. But yeah, it just kind of depends if you want to stay out here for longer or have it be more of a workout. All right, so we've made it down to the lower lodge. This is the Hollyburn Lodge, which is actually the main lodge here. So if you're coming on just like the short snowshoeing trail, then you'd end up here. And they do actually have some little like snacks here and some coffee as well. So I think we're going to head inside and get a snack because I'm personally very hungry. I feel like we've been kind of working out intensely. We're going to just take off our snowshoes here and then carry them inside. warming lodge so cold warming lodge as you can see it has a bunch of seating and like plastic things in between Lisa you're a little wet I accidentally <laughs> nailed Lisa in the face with some snow <laughs> and then she fell into the snow but whew, definitely time for some snacks oh they have mulled wine that's fun whew, you guys that was a workout so I ended up getting a grilled cheese and then also a winter ale just to celebrate our <laughs> successful snowshoeing also, too, I wanted to mention to you guys, this is a sneak peek. This is actually a sample from Livemore Lounge that will be coming in 2021. It's a sweatsuit set, so I decided to wear the sweater because has Livemore on it here. And it's like this kind of thick, very cozy sweater. And this, I love this color. It's like a bluey gray. It's like my favorite color ever. So, yeah, we have that coming. And then we also have some activewear coming as well in the start of 2021, which I'm very excited about. And the activewear is going to be reversible, like 95% sure. 
I'm just getting samples right now and I'm hoping it's gonna work because yeah, I think that'd be very handy. But yeah, so I'm just gonna wait for my grilled cheese and then we're gonna enjoy that. And yeah, it's really starting to snow outside right now, so it's actually a good time to kind of finish our uh, snowshoeing, even though I do have an umbrella. And I mean, I guess the point is to come up here and like be in the snow. But when it's like really pouring down like this, I find you get like, it's very wet snow here in Vancouver. Like it's not very like dry. So that's one thing is you're kind of soaking wet by the end. It's almost like rain. But anyways, yeah, so we're gonna crack this open right here and enjoy, I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Okay. Enjoy one of these. It's really good. All right, we arrived back. Snowshoe complete. All right, so we made it back down to the base of the mountain, and it's actually where you can rent. Like you do your ski rentals here, and obviously your snowshoe rentals. They have like a little Nordic cafe. So if you're coming up here to go skiing and snowboarding, you'd also come up here and park. But the parking lot was basically full. We had to park like a little bit down the hill, so we'll have to walk back down there. But as you can see, it's snowing so much now, so it's actually yeah, it's a good time to be finito. I had a really good time though doing this, so I definitely recommend if you guys are looking for a fun winter activity to come and check it out. Of course, subscribe. If you guys haven't done so already, I hope you enjoyed this short but sweet vlog, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!